Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Candace Miller. If you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm just showing y'all a very, very, very quick under 30 minute wash day. And I only use three products for this wash day. As you can see, my hair is very dry and in need of much nourishment. So we're just gonna hop right into it. First, I'm starting off by just drenching my hair with warm water. You wanna make sure your hair is very wet so that the products will react with your hair. If it's dry, the products are just gonna sit on top and not really penetrate the scalp or the shaft of your hair. So first things first, I wanna say that I did not co-wash pre-poo or anything outside of the shower. So this is a truly a 30 minute wash day routine. And for starters, I'm going to separate my hair into four sections because I always do my hair in sections. It makes sure that my entire scalp is being cleaned and not just certain sections in the front or parts in the front. Um, because when I wash my hair all together, I just don't feel like the whole scalp is very clean. So I always do four sections and I'm splitting those off with clips. And you'll see shortly that I realized I only had three clips, but that's okay because one section is going to be washed. So again, I drench my hair with water. And then I'm going to be doing a little pre-condition with Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I have the coconut line, but you can use any of them. I have the avocado and the jojoba oil one also. And I'm going to call this a precondition because a subscriber um, informed me that I was misusing the term pre-poo just a little bit. And I think it confused her because I was saying pre-poo, but this process has no shampooing or cleansing effects. It's just to soften my hair and prepare it for the shampoo, also to detangle. So this process, I do detangle, as you can see right here with the conditioner and the drenching wet water to help. Now it is time for shampooing and I'm going in with the Pantene Gold Series Sulfate Free Shampoo. Usually I use the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo, but I think I ran out of it. So I'm using the sulfate free version and they're both work very well. That's what I use for the first shampoo and the second shampoo I use the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo by OGX. And the only reason I use two different shampoos is because the OGX has the keratin in it, which is really good for like applying heat to your hair and protecting your hair shaft. And I plan to blow dry my hair um, to prepare for protective style after this wash day. So that's why I use the OGX as my second shampoo. Now at this point in my process, I am applying conditioner again. So as a recap, I do a pre-condition, I wash with shampoo, and then I condition again just to make sure my hair is nice and moisturized after applying the shampoo because some shampoos can be abrasive. You need to watch out for those and make sure you're using sulfate feet or moisturizing shampoos. That's why I love the Pantene Gold Series. So yeah, now my hair is washed, detangled, and conditioned. And as you see, it was very quick and this process can go by very quickly once you perfect it and you don't have to worry about the hair tangling or anything because you just twist it up, clip it away and go on to the next section. At this point, the process is repeating itself and I am re-drenching my hair with water. I am on to the next section and make sure you use warm water because warm water helps with getting rid of dirt whereas cold water kind of seals in the cuticle and helps to find curls. So anytime you are pre-pooing, um, co-washing or pre-conditioning in my case, always use warm water. Then again, 
go in with your conditioner as your precondition. Again, this helps with slip so you can detangle your hair. It also just helps soften your hair before you go in with um, shampoo. Makes it more manageable and this step really makes the process go by really quickly because you're not only are you detangling your hair while you're doing this, you're also softening it and preparing it for the shampoo process. So if you want your shampoo to go by very quick, and make sure your hair is already detangled before even going into shampoo, definitely integrate a co-condition into the process. Now rinse that conditioner out and you're gonna begin shampooing. A lot of people say, oh, you only have to apply shampoo to the scalp. You don't need to do it on the shaft or the ends. I disagree with that and you can see that in this clip I apply shampoo to my shaft and my ends because I apply products to my shaft and my ends and I want to make sure any product buildup that is on my shafts and my ends are getting washed away and I have a clean slate. I don't want just a clean scalp and residue and buildup on my shaft. So after you shampoo go ahead and wash that out and shampoo once again. Shampooing twice really helps make sure the hair is clean and clarified for your next style. And if you really want to focus on scalp health, go ahead and invest in a shampoo brush. It really helps scrub at your scalp and make sure there's no product buildup or um, dandruff on your scalp. This brush also just feels good as a nice massager. It feels so, so, so good. Definitely invest in it. It's only going to be between five and ten dollars, so it's not that big of an investment, but it definitely goes a long way. I am on to my second condition. As you can see, as I'm running my fingers through my hair, my hair is soft, my curls are defined, and there's no tangles. I can easily run my fingers through my hair, and I'm not even using water. There is slip with this conditioner, but it's just such an easy process when you pre-detangle with conditioner versus trying to fight afterwards. Okay, guys, so I showed you how to do this process on two of the four sections, but yes, I did do my whole head. Now you have conditioner in all the sections and you're going to start rinsing out the conditioner um, section by section and make sure it's all out. Oh, quick preview. This is what healthy, strong, defined hair looks like. You can see that my hair is soft and manageable and that's what you want going into your styling process. You don't want dry, tangled, matted hair. So be sure that you are detangling your hair and using the right products for your hair type. After you rinse each section, make sure you keep your hair in the twists and in the sections and then go ahead and clip it back up. Now we are just going to do the final rinse and make sure all of the product is out of my hair and my hair is clean and fresh. This is always the last step of my wash day and that being said, this is the end of this video. If y'all have any questions or comments on this process, go ahead and leave them below and I will definitely respond and get back to you. And make sure you like this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.